I did carry seven nukes in my bag. This was one of them. Oh yeah. So it's been just over a year since I did the mile challenge to see how many throws it would take me to get 5,280 feet. Last year I was able to do it in 10 throws, averaging about 545 feet. But if you do go back and watch that video, a couple things to think about. One, it was insanely windy. Two, I was throwing nuke SS's on like these crazy hyzer flip lines that are not real. And I was throwing as hard as I could. And I'm pretty sure if you actually looked at where my discs were landing, they were so far from one another. And the last thing too, is there was a couple of them that were a little suspect because they hit like the pavement at the very end and ended up like skipping 150 feet, but we counted those anyways. So this time we're gonna do it a little bit differently. I'm gonna be throwing this from my bag and a couple extra ones as well to see if we can do it in 10 throws as well. However, I'm gonna be throwing actual golf lines, throws that you'd actually see me throw in tournaments and then also ideally trying to keep them roughly in the same kind of straightness. All right, we're actually gonna throw down this way because there is actually no street in play. I don't think I can throw it over that fence. It, I've measured one of those trash cans out there and it was super far. So I think we should be good to go. Good for launch. <clears throat> First one up is my double stamp Z nuke. Uh, this was a bomber for me this past week. I did carry seven nukes in my bag. This was one of them. Oh yeah. Didn't get as much flip as I wanted to, but that should be like a smooth 500 or so. It also rained a lot, as you can see by the puddles, so I shouldn't be getting that much skip. So we'll really kind of just see air shots, how far these were going. And let me know in the comments, what do you guys think? What do you think the average will be? Because I should be able to average over 528 feet to get 10 throws. But let me know where you think it, you think it's gonna be above 545, below 545. Let me know. All right, double stamp, nuke, ESP here. This one's a bomber. See, that was the turn I wanted on the last one. A little nose up. It's gonna kind of fade and just drop versus continue to push forward. But it got some decent distance. Decent. Now these won't go nearly as far as those ESP guys that I just threw or that Z1, that double stamp, because these aren't as flippy. So I'll have to throw these more flat to get the turn. But this is my Z nuke here. Which one is this one? I have two though. Okay, this one's not as flippy, so I gotta throw a little more flatter. If it gets out of it, that's absolutely gone though. Hit the trash can. Hit the trash can. Oh. Oh, it hit something. Oh, it hit the soccer net. Probably lost me about 30 to 40 feet dialing it in, figuring it out. Also, if you guys haven't, check out foundationdisc.com. We just got new flex fit hats in. This is the foundation one. We also have some dark horse ones as well. New styles and colors coming soon. So foundationdisc.com. All right, this is the other Z nuke. This one's a little flippier, so I don't have to throw it nearly as flat. I can give this one a little baby hyzer and it should turn for me. Oh, it didn't. It went straight. That's going to be the shortest one out of all of them. That's so short. That, that might not even be over 500, folks. How many throws was that? That's your third one. No. That was your fourth one. Fourth one. We're going to go with uh, a little Ezra Nuke. This one's not a bomber but it is a tried and true. I actually threw this a lot at uh, OTV Open doing the rollers, headwind rollers. This is my go-to. So this one won't bomb nearly as much, but still should be able to get one out there. Yeah, it just doesn't ever want to, it doesn't want to flip up the flat. That's, that's shorter, that's shorter than the red one. Okay, so we got it. We got to go back to my bread and butters. I got one more that's not going to go very far, and then I got four bombers. So okay, okay, okay. I'm just going to put this one on a little higher with a little more ante. That's a stable, a stable nuker. It's not like super far out there, but it's like decent. 
Ding. Decent. All right. And then the last ones, I haven't. I'm, I lost all. I have one bomber that I threw earlier that you guys saw. And then the other one I had, I lost. So these are four other ones that should go far. Um, all of them, they're ESP nukes. I have yet to throw them yet, so I don't know how flippy they are. So we're gonna act like they are gonna fly like that one. They might not, but you live and you learn. So we'll see what happens here. Oh, that one's actually way flippier. Oh my gosh, it's not even gonna come out. Oh boy, I'm in trouble. Final three. You gotta get it out there. Yeah, well. What is that one? I, I would, this is an ESP nuke. I would go normally and get the disc that I threw that I know how they fly, but I, I really don't want to get my feet super wet. You <laughs> so I just want to go, to I just want to go out there once to I get know. them. I don't want to go out and, cause I think last time I was throwing like the same disc every time. So these yeah, last, you were, you were these last couple are a brand, I've never thrown these before. Oh boy. So we're just testing, testing the limits here. I just have to assume they're crazy flippy. One, two, break free. Yeah, I mean, that is so flippy. I'm throwing that on an ultimate frisbee line. I want to that's break definitely not, That's definitely not the... These are definitely not the distance shots that I wanted, guys. Oh, boy. So maybe maybe we'll do this again on another day. Conditions a little bit better, a little drier, and I'll throw my go-to disc. Okay. They're not brand new ones. These are, these are way too flippy. That one's actually good. I'm like a I bird. I might put that in my bag. I only fly away. Ding. Yeah, I might, I might, that one might go in the bag. That's how I want these to fly. Just like hyzer flip and then come out of it. Yeah. All right, last one. I might actually not do it. I, I might not do it. Oh boy. It might, it might, I might be short. Oh boy. I haven't thrown a yeet in there, so yeet! I need to come out! If I have a prayer! Come out! Alright, moment of truth now. We go down, we, sh we do a little range finding action, do a little tabulation action. I'll use the calculator, not Kelsey's math. And, wow! Uh, and uh, we'll see if we do it. Let me know. You think how, I'm gonna... How, what? um... How confident are you? Well, if I could throw that one nuke, that orange one, yeah, all ten throws, yeah, you'd be super. Or confident. even my red ones, really, my my Z red nukes, or that orange, the first one. Basically, if I could throw the first four discs over and over, over and over again, I'd be pretty confident that I'd be over 550 average. Yeah. But right now, with all the ones. Right I'm now, doing. I think I think I might just I, I might just be barely be over 500. Yikes. I don't know. Some of those, some of those did not fly like I thought they would. Oh boy, here we go. All right, we have made it to the first one. Uh, honestly, my spread isn't terrible. The discs that I knew how to fly all kind of landed in the same area, and then the ones that are way over there are just the ones that are a little bit flippier. And then I have that one that I, that one is a bad throw. So first throw here on the board, we've got uh oh, uh oh, 493. 493. Didn't even get, didn't even get over five. Oh boy. But that, that's the shortest one. So, um, I kind of figured one of them wasn't going to get over five. This one is the same length straight, but a little bit more wide. So this one's 512. Really? Kelsey also right now went with the no shoes. I can't give people that view for free. The no, the no shoes <laughs> method. <laughs> Okay, this is my... He ignores my... This is my... Yeah, I'm 100% ignoring that. <laughs> this is my Z, Z Nuke Red and Butter 525. 525. That, that sounds about right for that one. Throwing this one a little bit. Oh, this is the one that didn't flip up nearly as much as I thought it would. The one that I actually throw... This is the backup one. The one I actually throw in my bag is a little, is a little bit further out here. Oh, is that actually the farthest one? Oh, wow. It actually is. Wow. Impressive. All right. 
This was the first throw, the yellow double stamp nuke. This one went all right, 542. Now we're going. Now we're going in a good direction here. Fifth throw. It's gonna be a little bit further, probably. Yeah, 544. Shoo. Don't do that ever again, please. <laughs> do not ever do that again. <laughs> I blame my brother. All right, we got 540 on this one. So a little bit shorter than the other guys, but still respectable. Now we're going to some of the bigger guys. I think. I think some of these will be a little bit bigger numbers. Final four. Hopefully that dog doesn't grab my disc. People are walking right in front of my shooting point. 570, okay, that's more like it. 570, this one flipped up real nice. The one that I really wanna put in my bag probably is this orange one. I thought it was like that pink one you threw. Or out. the pink one, yeah, yeah. The pink one was the one that I was like, dang. I might have to put that one in my bag because I really liked how that one flipped up. What we got? Yeah, this is 554. The 570 might be actually the farthest one. Just because it had more turn and it just kept gliding. That's why those like those nuke SS's went so far is because I'd fly, throw them up to flat and then they would just turn and they're so high in the air they just glide, glide, glide. Where these, you know, they're not really gliding, they're kind of coming out. Mm -hmm. So I could actually try to be like, cause this is, honestly, this is right where I was uh, aiming. I think it did hit, I think this one would have been the farthest one. And the, it hit the- The pink boy? Yeah. But I think it hit the, I think it hit the soccer thing. So this is basically just in the air, 569 air shot which i will take to the bank all day every day and then my my longest one was Bing my boy. my z new birds are hyping me up are the gnats out you're waving something the, gna the gnats might be out right now yeah they're biting me and oh we didn't get one over 600 this video we got close 592 592 <laughs> we're gonna move out of this area of swampland gnats and we'll do a tabulate oh my god literally spielberg <laughs> we're gonna go over here and we'll do the tabulations and figure out where the heck i ended up i've done the calculations the tabulations try and figure out where the sun is yeah. it's a good spot yeah, yeah. it's nice we're right here this is perfect <laughs> uh you can't make this up folks this is how close it was okay the average distance i did get over 5,000 feet the average distance per throw First video I did, 545, 544 feet, 0.1. Ooh. So I almost averaged the same as the previous video. I wonder if my distances were actually closer. I feel like they were. Here, they, this video. I think closer. this video, the like the um, the standard deviation for these, <laughs> that, that's the right terminology. Oh. The standard deviation for these throws would be a lot tighter because I think in the previous ones, I had a couple that were sub 500 feet and a couple that were like over 600 with those crazy like 100 foot skips. So pretty happy all in all, also throwing discs that I haven't thrown before, which eh, I would not advise. But yeah, that is the how far can I throw? Can I throw over a mile? And uh, if you wanna pick up some of these bad boys, the discs I mostly were throwing were Z nukes and ESP nukes. Uh, go to foundationdisc.com. That is my store down there. Check those out. And if you haven't, check out brodysmith.discraft.com as well. We throw some new stuff on there also. Um, and other than that, I'll see you guys in the next one. Keep slinging them discs. And don't forget, Wednesday nights, Math Tutor Brody. Standard deviations.